got a wild subscriber too. Good thing I prepared my radiation ball. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to you. Go radiation ball. Every, 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 Time to pop you in the neck on. Hello, and welcome to another episode of XCT Chat. We have two packs of beautiful cards. The idea is to use x-rays and go through the cards and hopefully pick up the special features of the cards. It's like the holographic features on the Zapdos card. If the rare holographic cards are inside the pack, hopefully we can see them without op having to open the pack. Yes. Uh, this will act as our control sample, which is actually my favorite Pokemon, Zapdos. I think it's because of the way Instead of hiding in the grass, he's kind of waiting there in the power plant, like, what's up, Ash? <laughs> like, yeah. Kind of thing. And the, this one is a uh, holographic card. Hopefully, we can see this feature and see that feature on other cards as well. The of the of the ink of the holographic part should reveal what character we, we, we have, hopefully. Yeah. So x-rays will go through all of the cards and the packaging. That'll be the easy part. And it's actually a very good technique for this because we don't want to open or disturb the packaging. Yeah. So it's we need a non-destructive technique. And so the x-rays will go through and hopefully they'll interact more with special features such as the ink or the yes. uh, holographics. Yeah, so that's the plan. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're chops, chops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's me, Professor Tree, and I'm here. Oh here my goodness. Two Pokeballs for you. Pokemon. Use them on your adventures. Remember what? What do we do with them? You just add water. Yes, and good luck, boys. Whoa, let's pop it in the Nikon. Pop it in the Nikon. I've always wondered what the Pokemon do inside of the Pokemon ball, and now we can figure it out by shooting X-rays through it. When producing a radiograph, which is the 2D image given when you pass X-rays through an object onto a detector, it's very hard to guess what Pokemon that is. That could be a Pikachu, for all I know. If we were to gather a bunch of radiographs or projections together and assemble them with a computer, that would give us the full three-dimensional volume of the object, and that's called X-ray computed tomography. And with that, now we can see the Pokemon much better. There's a lot of heavy stuff in here, but this mass here is a Pokemon number one, which seems to be quite spiky. This is an easier version of who's that Pokemon. You can make guesses in the comments below. And the same can be done with the other Pokeball. By adjusting the contrast, I can see only the high attenuating materials. And in this case, the Pokemon is denser than a majority of the surrounding ball. And if we go back to the cards for a moment, our control sample showed no special details in the scans. Even though, remember, it was a holographic card. And if we look at the two packs of cards, we can see the individual cards, but all we can really do is count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when I open the packages of cards, we can see that there definitely is some special or shiny looking cards in there. Some fun ones too. The density difference of the special details on the cards must not be enough to pick up with this technique. If it was some kind of coated metal on the paper, then it would be much easier. But I guess for now, we'll just have to settle for the fun of opening packs of cards. We even got a Pikachu in this one. It's quite cool. Well, the only thing left to do now is to go back to our starter Pokemon. And Professor Tree Name said to just add a little bit of water. So after taking the Pokemon balls and placing them in water, waiting for a bit, this must be some special reaction that liberates the Pokemon from the balls. And so I reached in, and you can imagine how ecstatic I was to get a Zapdos and an Aurorus. Now it's time to battle. Aurorus, use the ice punch. Zapdos, use thunder. Thanks for watching.